Whoa. Hmm. That is super long, super annoying. But I got it done. I got it done. My pants are covered in dust. Sadly, I don't get paid till Tuesday. But as you can tell, big, big difference. Super brown, very gray. And now, for today's vlog, you guys, we are going to either shellac it or put teak wood on it. The, the jury's still out on what, which one I should do exactly. I'm gonna do some research first. Actually, you guys, before we do some research on whether I should use teak oil or shellac, I think we're going to do some magnet fishing. It's been a while. About a week. So maybe we'll pull out something even cooler. Let's do it. You know, you guys, it's kind of funny. This spot is where I caught that fishing net the other day. So maybe, just maybe, maybe we can do it again. Oh no, let's see. I know it's first cast, probably no luck. And of course, nothing. We'll throw it again. Awesomeness. What did we get? We got ourselves a bobby pin. Let me get focused in on there. Sweet. Mm, I have a good feeling about this one. Don't know why. I just do. Man, what do we have? We have a bottle cap. Nice. Nice. Well, you guys it does believe, or I do believe, I'm caught. I still think though I can get this thing out on my own without having to jump in the water. Well, I didn't want to resort to this, but I've got to. Looks like I'll be stripping down to some shorts because my magnet's caught. A little bit irritated, not gonna lie. Well, you know what? Heck it. I'll just jump with my pants on. That was not fun. What my magnet had got caught on was a cinder block. But while I was down there, I felt a cast net. We're not gonna go after that today. But we got it. I can do some more magnet fishing. But I need to change my shorts. Darn it, I gotta get in focus. Well. Let it get back in focus, but it looks like we got a piece of rust. Big piece of rust, too. Hmm. Actually, better yet, I think I'm just going to call it a day. Didn't really get anything, but we got caught on a center block. Again. Oh, that's why. I'm done. So let's get this teak oil stuff figured out. 
I'm not gonna let that happen again. I will say though, when I jumped in a second time, I tried pulling that cast net, but whatever that whatever that center block is on, it was right on top or caught in between the cast net. It felt like it was pretty good, but I ripped it. Or at least that's what I felt when I tried pulling it up. Um, kind of sucks, but I mean already, I've already found a cast net, but now, now I know what I always run up on every time I magnet fish in that spot. A little bit aggravating. Just a little bit aggravating. But it's not the end of the world. And uh, I'm still kicking myself in the butt. I was not able to throw a, my first layer of teak oil on. I'm not sure if you guys noticed today, but this side is finished. It took me a little longer than it should have, but I'm a new boat owner, and it's a it's a growing experience. It's a it's a growing pain, but I got it done. That's that's all that matters. And for tomorrow's vlog, you guys, that's that's what we're gonna do. We are going to put a layer of teak oil on. And what I was watching when I was researching this earlier today, well, actually later on tonight is that you're supposed to put about seven, I think it's between five and seven layers of teak oil to get that really nice shine. That's what I'm going for. This side is ready. I knocked out a little bit of that one. Probably get, get that side done tomorrow. But I will tell you guys, if you are a sailboat owner and your handrails, depending on what sailboat you have, look a little bit worn out, just take a weekend, bust it out with a sander or sandpaper. Um, I mean, I, I, I kind of did it the old fashioned way, but I can't find my major piece that I was using. But it knocks out a lot. It's really incredible what just sitting around for a couple of hours, or in my case, a couple of days because of work, can really make a difference and make it look really clean. And spotless, but that's a uh, that's a doozy. And I'm tired, you guys. I will say though, my off day was pretty nice. Um, lately, I don't know. I'm sorry about yesterday's vlog. Yesterday's vlog was a dud, like a dud. Mostly because I like reading on books on investments and. Robert Kiyosaki has a lot of cool things to say. I'm tired. Very tired. Super tired. Y'all are getting where I'm coming from. So, I'm gonna call it a night, you guys. I had to jump in the river twice to get my magnet back. And on top of that, I'm trying to figure out... I don't know. Like I said, I gotta make another metal detecting video. It's, it's, it's been long overdue on that one. But, stay posted, stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to me, and hit the bell icon. I will keep you in the loop on updates on my life here in the state of Florida. Stay posted, stay tuned, keep in touch with me at Dream Poet at Facebook, as well as my Instagram, the link's below. Thank you all for the love and support, love you all very much.